Hello, sweet friends. It is Saturday, September 25th. We're filming another vlog on a Saturday. I'm not gonna lie, I'm I'm tired today. <laughs> I have done a lot this past week. I have been cleaning my house, revamping my house, renovating certain bedrooms in my house. And yesterday I spent all day in the backyard raking the leaves and picking things up and donating things and throwing things away and recycling things and just getting that whole area, it like my back patio area looking good because we, and if I'm doing like weird things with my hands, it's because I just painted my nails. I'm like, I'm trying not to mess them up. Like it's finally starting to cool down. And this morning, it was in the 50s, the 50s, after having days where the heat index was like 102, 105, Ugh. And so I have been taking photos of the prizes and getting all of the live stream information ready, like what, what we're going to talk about and like how the whole live stream situation is going to work for both October and November, and also like prepping the emails to go out to the members. And so it has just been a very busy week. I also got the final, 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 final version for the cover for Crescent Fire. <laughs> so that's another thing I got going on where I'm like, all right, I need to order a proof. So I've been going back and forth with regard to like what I wanted to do for today's vlog because there's this part of me that's like, it's so nice outside and I want to do things on my autumn bucket list, but I have already done a lot of things on my bucket list. Not a lot of things, but for instance, like I cleaned the back patio yesterday and then was it also yesterday or the day before all my days are blurring together where i decorated the exterior of the house that was yesterday oh my gosh i did a lot yesterday so not only did i clean the entire back patio and backyard area but i also grabbed all of my halloween decorations went out front wrapped all the lights around the trees because i i kind of added some extra decorations. I'll put some footage on the screen for you so you can see it. And I got my Jack Skellington inflatable and I think I'm gonna get Sally too and like put her on the other side of my little garden area in the front. And yeah, so I did all of that yesterday on top of just getting things ready for the Inner Divine Collective for our October content, as well as the Write 50K in 30 Days accountability program. Which reminds me, there are only a few more days to take advantage of the 50% off discount because that price is going up from 197 to 247 on Thursday, September 30th. And we also start on September 30th. So we have our very first live stream in the Facebook group. And I think we already have over like 60 members. I know more and more people are joining and joining and everyone's introducing their book projects. Ah, and I'm just so excited about it. I'm like taking pictures of the prizes. I'm like, okay, and this is how we're gonna do it and how we're gonna pull the names. And this is gonna be like the challenge for this week. And it has been so much fun to put together. So I really hope that you will consider joining us, especially if you need that extra accountability when it comes to writing your book. Again, that discount ends on September 30th, which is this Thursday. So I will leave that link in the description box below. I like, I've been cleaning my house. Like I said, I've been doing all that kind of stuff. I need to get organized with everything. Do we see? The last time that I updated my calendar, my dry erase calendar, April of 2021. So I am going to redo this for October because we're getting close to October. September is basically done with. And because I have so much, like I have so many live streams between the Inner Divine Collective and Write 50K in 30 Days, like so many live streams happening, new videos dropping. I have already, last night, oh my gosh, I did that last night too. <laughs> Last night, I fully edited the book project binder video, like creating a book project binder video that's going live for Write 50K members only on October 1st. And then also fully edited the Pomodoro, the 60 minute Pomodoro video, which is like so much fun. That's one of my favorite videos that I've ever done. That's dropping during week two for Write 50K members. So again, Sign up so that way you can see what all that goodness is. That video is like an hour and a half long. I have never, <laughs> I don't think I've ever created a video that long, but it is 
so good and it's just gonna help you focus even if you're not writing even if you just need to focus for like one hour or one and a half hours that video is awesome so again description box below anyways i am done rambling i am done jabbing my jaws because i feel like this is the longest intro ever so let's go ahead and get into the b-roll and update my dry erase calendar <laughs> what is the moon in today? Taurus! Taurus, the moon's in Taurus. But maybe Gemini? Tomorrow's Gemini. <coughs> I hate the smell of Windex. Windex tour! Am I gonna leave the sound in? Probably. Probably. So you guys can just actually hear when you guys hear like music and you see me doing stuff. That's not actually. <laughs> <laughs> not actually ever what's happening. It's me joking and talking to myself and having full-on conversations with myself. And that's on being ADHD and neurodivergent. Self-diagnose from TikTok. <laughs> Gotta get me some elbow grease. This has been on here a long, long time. <laughs> if I just messed up my nails, murder. that I want to do is just take you through some of the areas of my house that I never really show because like I said I've been renovating and I can't remember the last time my house was this put together or this clean and so if anything this is just like for my reference to remember this by but let me show you what's going on over in this wing of the house because it was a mess it was a hot mess for a while, but not anymore. So obviously you guys have seen my office like a gajillion times, but just in case, here it is. I still have some organizing to do on the shelves and obviously I was just working on here, so it's a bit messy. But then out here we have the front entryway table and we have Denali as well. And then as we go into this hallway, so this door actually leads into this guest hallway, but I keep my little chair right there. So that's why we went a roundabout way. And this is one of the guest bedrooms. So I know it doesn't look like there's too much going on, but this was <laughs> the Own Your Thrive war room for months. And so it was just a mess. It became like a second office and then it just became an overflow room. So I finally took the, you know, the headboard and all this kind of stuff and put everything back so that it's an actual functioning guest bedroom. And then here is the Jack and Jill bathroom, but there is a toilet near and a shower here and then this is the second guest bedroom this bed has so much sentimental value you can see like Lacey was just a kitten when I got it so you can just kind of see how the top is all messed up sweet girl because she just like she jumped up here I'm talking about her like she's passed on she has not she's still alive and kicking but yeah this bed holds a lot of sentimental value to me so and so yeah these are the two rooms on this side of the house again i never show them because they have not looked this good they were just overflow like this room had a lot of decorations <laughs> for my nook and things like that in here just it was so bad i'm i kind of wish i had gotten before footage but it was really embarrassing and then like i said that other room i feel like i haven't shown it in forever because it was my shipping and packing room which oh i will show you that so in the closet which I do still have to organize this a little bit, 
but you can see I have all of my promo items and my printer is in here because there's really no place for it in my office and just lots of like boxes and tape and packaging supplies so I've pretty much just been bringing whatever I need into my office because I've been keeping that clean to package things up. Here are all the right 50k rewards all in that bag. So yeah, those are these two rooms. I'm still working on the upstairs because this is like a one and a half story. Is that what it's called? One and a half story. So there is the upstairs where I'm normally riding my Peloton, but I'm still getting that more or less organized and painted up there. I'm totally renovating and redoing my master bedroom, so I'm not gonna show you that yet because two of the walls are painted and it is such a mess in there. I don't even know how I'm sleeping in there because I'm such a, an aesthetic person, but it's fine because I plan to have that done. I'm crazy, I plan to have that done before October, so I will show you guys, and I took before footage of that, so I'll make sure to show you what it looks like before so bad and what it looks like after and I have like a fun DIY uh, like gothic bookcase project that I'm doing as well and actually before we go out there I did want to show you this because I updated it so you'll remember there were those really cheap Dollar Tree spider webs going on I didn't really like them I didn't want to spray paint them I thought they looked really cheap so I found these wreaths at Home Goods? No, it was TJ Maxx. It's basically the same, but TJ Maxx, I found those. And then I found this sign at Michael's because I've been going to Michael's so much because they have all the witchy Halloween decor. The Salem Forest Cemetery. We can't wait for you to join us. Like, I'm obsessed with it. It's just so clean out here. So we've got some cute little pumpkin pillows. This has been completely cleared off. And I do need to mow back here. Everything's starting to die. <laughs> but put the fire pit back out here. And I'm happy that this is still alive. This was normally out front, so I put this back here. Ignore this, I'm trying to dry out some of the wood, so this usually isn't there. So it is dinner time, 625, so I'm going to go ahead and cook myself a meal. Uh, Peaky Blinders. Killian Murphy as Thomas Shelby. <sighs> Between him and Henry Cavill as The Witcher, like. <sighs> Anyways, yeah. I'm on season three, episode one. The show is so good. I think someone may have recommended it when I was doing the book, movie dark autumn bucket list. I think someone in the comments mentioned Peaky Blinders and it's so good. I've just been sitting here eating these sandies and just like drooling all over myself whenever Thomas Shelby opens his mouth. So it's getting dark so early now, which I totally don't mind but it's taking some adjusting and some getting used to. Especially vlogging at night because whenever it gets dark, I'm like, okay, time to like shut everything down and go to sleep. And then I'm like, oh, it's only 7.15. <laughs> but I stopped by my PO box the other day and had a package. It was so cute. It's like all wrapped and everything. So I wanted to do a little mini unboxing. I'm so excited. I, I love like sharing 
especially book hauls and book recommendations with all of you because Nicole reached out to me on Instagram about her book that is like spooky aesthetic. Oh yeah, Healing House. Oh, Nicole, thank you so much for sending this to me. I'm definitely adding this to my October TBR list. And I'm pretty sure you are an indie author. So yay, supporting indie authors. I'm so excited to read this. I have been doing really well with my TBR list. Not so much with my movie list. I actually haven't watched a movie since the since last weekend's vlog, or I guess for you guys when you saw it, it was last week, but for me it was last weekend. I think what I'm gonna do is sign off for the evening because I, again, I am just so tired. Like I, and my brain's not working. I've done so, I've done so much this past week. Like I just wanna chill out. So I think I'll go ahead and pick up the camera tomorrow sometime. September 26th, this is, this is some hair. This is some hair. So I woke up this morning after getting a, a decent amount of sleep last night and my energy is just zapped today. So I had a bunch of things that I wanted to keep doing but I know better than to push myself and I started getting congested again. And that's been kind of like the sign lately from my body when I start to get congestion in my nose, that means that I need to slow down, chill out, like not do so much stuff. <laughs> kind of kicking myself for not vlogging some of the things earlier this week so I could have gotten more B-roll, but this is just the reality of it. Sometimes like when I have the energy and I get going on something, it's like I don't wanna interrupt the flow and have to like set up the camera to film things and oftentimes I just forget, right? So I just start doing stuff and that's that. So just something I was thinking about this morning because I was editing the footage that you guys just watched from yesterday and I was like, wow, I was in such a quirky mood and just being so silly and goofy and then it's so crazy how when you go to sleep, it's like hitting the reset button and just how the vibe can can change so much day to day. But for me, that's also about being a manifester with emotional authority in human design. So I, like my emotional waves, like I ride the entire emotional spectrum consistently. So yeah, I'm not gonna be hard on myself. I'm not gonna, you know, I had expectations for this vlog because I, I love fall and it's been so nice outside and there's just so much I wanna do, but I also, I know when I need to just take a break, take a day off. Not to mention like October is coming up so fast and it is going to be such a busy month. You guys saw my calendar at the beginning of this vlog. I have like two live streams going on every single week and then I'm also prepping. So I'm doing the Preptober work from the Write 50K in 30 Days workbook for my own book. And then also like guiding everyone through that process and doing the live streams and the prizes and the giveaways and being active in the Facebook group. So I'm so excited for it, but I also know like I need to just relax and and chill out. Like I need Sunday today to just be a relaxing day. And I don't know why I'm sitting here trying to justify or, or explain it. I guess this is me just saying, <laughs> This is the outro and that I had things I wanted to film today, but I have to honor my energy and where I'm at today. And the absolute worst thing that could happen would be if this congestion situation, like if I don't listen to my body and it turns into something else when I do have things that like I have.
have planned and scheduled and that I'm really excited for. I really hope to see you in the Right 50K community. We start on Thursday, September 30th. I've probably said that like 18 times in this vlog, but I'm just really, really excited about it. And you know, cause we don't know, we don't know what's gonna happen a year from now. Like we just, I don't know, the future is so uncertain. So who knows what kind of a situation or globally what will be going on next year. It's like if you have the inspiration to write a book or you have a book idea, like there is no time like the present, truly. Anywho, I'm going to go ahead and sign off here, have my relaxing Sunday, but I will leave the link to the Write 50K in 30 Days course in the description box below. So again, make sure you check that out. And I will see those of you in there on Thursday for our welcome live stream. And for the rest of you, I will see you in next week's video.